Okay, coming up with a team game or even some books of the Bible games are always so much fun. And so we have figured out that a tarp is a great way for you to have a team activity even when you're trying to put the books of the Bible in their divisions. And so we found these wonderful, <laughs> my essay, lightweight uh, tarps at the dollar store. And so $1.99, that's crazy. And it's perfect because we're gonna cut holes in it. So open it up and this happens to be a four, four foot by six foot. Nice thing is this kind of thing folds flat and stores flat and that's always a win. But man, look at this, it's so great. We're gonna open the whole thing up like this and put a piece of paper and if you use cardstock, that's just fine too. But what you do is you put the paper on there and the, make the colorful holes and you cut the hole in it and you can put some tape around it to even sure that up. And we added some sandwich bags to this or snack bags, really, they're small. And you can put the books of the, the Bible divisions in each one of these. And then, so we're right here, we're working with the Old Testament. We can flip them around and it'd be the New Testament since there's five divisions in each testament. And so the boys and girls hold on to the sides of this and you throw a ball in the air and they catch it and then they begin to try to lift it and move it around to get it in the right hole, working together as a team. And so it's super easy to make and you could play it over and over and over. But the best part is, is that we made a second game right here on the back. See, it is our memory verse. And the memory verse actually is written on pieces of cardstock that's been laminated. And we just used an erasable marker and taped it on. And then when we are finished with this verse, we can do bits and pieces of another verse by just wiping this off and writing on another one. So this can be used over and over for different verses. Again, it's the same thing. You, you could work together as a team or you can hang this up and just try to throw a ball to get inside the hole of each one of these. Or maybe shoot a rubber band or maybe uh, put a, a Q-tip inside of a straw and blow it like a blow dart. I mean, listen, it's endless when you're talking about target sports. So choose the tape that you wanna use. We use duct tape, some washi tape, which is like mini duct tape, different things, paper, and you can create your own. The nice thing is that it has grommets and you can hang it from the ceiling if you want to. This is a great idea and it's versatile and you could use it either way. Send me pictures of yours. I'd like to see what you come up with as well. Now, all of these games, they're so much fun, but we've got a book called Bible Skill Boosters filled with more and more Bible Skill games. And I think you're gonna like it. You can see all the different ideas. It's written kind of like recipes and it's very Pinteresty, so there's a photograph of it, just like I'm showing you. And the download version, the digital version that you download, it is in color, and I think you'll like that as well. Or we can mail you one if you want in black and white, and you can put it in a binder. I think you're gonna like the Bible skill games that you see here. Hey, we wanna ask you to think about having a one-day workshop where I come, Mr. Mark trains your people in an all-day workshop, walking through different things like classroom management, also how to tell the Bible story, how to have Bible skill games and learning centers that kids love. And I wanna inspire your people and motivate them to do the incredible job that you wanna see happen at your church. Think about the one day workshop or even the parenting conference and let's get rolling with discipling and with also training our people. They need to be equipped and they'll stay the course. <laughs>